So in this video, we'll be walking through how to use the interactive area within Expert TA to draw a free body diagram. So I just have an example problem here to, to just kind of walk through all the different components of the interactive area and things that you should be looking out for. So the problem says that a force FM is applied to a stationary book that is resting on a rough horizontal ta tabletop. If necessary, use FS for the force of static friction and FK as the force of kinetic friction. So you're not told what type of friction there is. That's going to be up to you to decide based off of what's happening in the problem. So we know that there's a force applied to the book here, FM, and we know the book is stationary. So that tells us that the block or the book is not moving. So the sum of the forces in the x direction, the sum of the forces in the y direction must equal zero. We must have balanced forces to give us this constant velocity or a velocity of zero. And then we're told it's resting on a rough horizontal tabletop. And so this, this word right here, rough, that's a code word for saying that we need to take friction into account, that friction is applicable here. If it were to say smooth, then you can assume that friction is ne negligible. But since it says rough, we know we need to take into account friction. So the question is, is whether or not static friction or kinetic friction is opposing this applied force. And so take a second to think about that. And so you should have answered that it, it is static friction that is opposing the force of the book. And so the reason why that is, is because we're told that this is a stationary book. It's not moving. So since it's not moving, we know that static friction must be opposing, much like if you're trying to push like a couch and you're pushing, you're pushing and the couch isn't moving, that's static friction opposing your pushing motion. It say, let's flip this around. Let's say that we push on this book and it's sliding across the table. Then it is kinetic friction that would be opposing the motion and not static friction because it is moving. And so now that we've, we've got an idea of what's going on here, we can go down to our free body diagram and start filling out the forces. And so our system is the book here. And so we are going to first account for the applied force on the book. And so that force is directed to the right in the positive x direction. And so what you're gonna do to add that force, you're going to click the add force button. And then you have the option of changing both of these labels. So one is the the label of the force. What we, should we call this force? What's the name of this force? And then the other is the angle with respect to the horizontal. So what you can do is you can you can change it both ways. So you can go down to this drop down menu and you can move it like so, or it's interactive. So you can just grab and pull it in the different directions. And so what you're gonna do is you want to match it up with what you think is the correct magnitude and direction. So we know it's applied horizontally in the positive x direction, and then we're just gonna give it some magnitude. And so if you look down here, this is giving you the net force in the x direction and the net force in the y direction. So we have one, we have one vector, one force vector on the diagram right now. And that's telling us that that is in the positive x direction. So we have a net force in the positive x direction. So it matches up. So the next step, we have our magnitude drawn. We're happy with the direction. We need to label it. So right now it's F sub N, which is the, 
the normal force. And so that's not right. You know, we're looking for the applied force, F sub M. And so we, we just go down to this drop down menu and we click F sub M. So now we have that force drawn. The other force that is being applied in the X direction is the force due to static friction. That's what's causing the book not to move because it's opposing this applied force F sub M. And so the next step we need to do is just go down, go up to add force. We know that since the applied force is to the right, the frictional force needs to oppose it and it needs to be to the negative X direction. So I'm just gonna take this, take this vector, move it into the negative X direction. And I want you all to pay attention to the, the net force total down here. So as I move this magnitude right now, we still have a, a net force in the X direction is positive. So I'm going to move my magnitude until it becomes zero because then we have we have a sum of the forces in the x direction totaling to zero which means that the book is not accelerating which is what's happening for a stationary book and if i keep going say i i mess up the magnitude now it's gone negative so there's a net force in the negative x direction and that's because this magnitude's too big so just kind of back off until you get to a zero and there's some wiggle room here. You see, you don't need to be, uh, you know, within a pixel, you can have a little wiggle room. Just use this as your guide to determine the relative magnitudes, because one of the things that you're going to be graded on is the relative magnitudes or the relative length of your vectors to make sure that it is matching up with what's happening physically. So don't just blindly, blindly choose a length for these vectors. Make sure that you're using this, this net force total to help you choose the size of your vectors. So the next step is to change the label. We need to change that to the frictional force. And again, we need to choose static friction because that is what's opposing the motion since the block is not moving. Say you were to choose F sub K here, even if you get all the magnitudes correct, if you have it labeled wrong, say the wrong frictional force, it's going to count as incorrect when you go to submit. So just make sure you double check what your labels are. So now we've dealt with the X direction, we need to deal with the Y direction now. And so the next step is to choose our non-contact forces in the Y direction. And we know that that's due to gravity. So we need to add in a gravitational force or the weight force. And so we wanna go down here and that's F sub G. And that's always pointing downwards in the negative Y direction. And so we're just going to choose some magnitude based off of that. And so if you look down here, now our net force in the Y direction is, is negative. So we need something opposing that, that weight force downwards. And that is the normal force caused by the tabletop. The tabletop is pushing up on the block to oppose that weight force downwards. And so that needs to be in the positive Y direction. And so if we again look at the magnitude and you're looking down here at the net force total in the Y direction, as I'm moving this up, it's now going positive. So there, if I were to leave it like this, there should be an acceleration in the Y direction, which there's not. So we need to back off until we get to a zero point. And then we know that this block is not accelerating. So this matches up with a block that is stationary on the tabletop. 
the label again the label f sub n this time it was already already worked out so we just keep that as our normal force label and once you're happy with this have we accounted for all the forces we have two in the x direction two in the y direction we have a sum of them equaling zero which matches up with our stationary book you would go ahead and click submit and as you see clicking submit after all those changes we get a correct answer so again just to summarize make use of the sum of the forces to help you choose the relative magnitudes because you are going to be graded off of those relative magnitudes you have leeway there as you saw you can change the magnitude and the sum of the forces is still within some sort of range and then finally the labels matter if you choose static friction when it should have been kinetic friction or if you just happen to forget to change the labels that's going to count against you so you just want to make sure that those those labels are what you want them to be because that is what it's going to be checking for if you have any questions again just reach out to your instructor and we can walk you through how to go through this if you need some more help with it